Alabama entered the 1925 season coming off of a Southern Conference championship that was tantalizingly close to a perfect record. Alabama was 7-0 when Tiny Center College of Kentucky came to visit. Center, now a Division III school, succeeded where vaunted Southern Conference opponents like Sewanee and Georgia Tech failed. The Colonels walked away from stunned Alabama with a 17-0 shutout that spoiled the unbeaten season. The tie took out its frustration by dismantling Georgia 33 zip to end the season. Staying undefeated in 1925 was absolutely essential because a Rose Bowl bid would not have come had the tide stumbled along the way. And still, Alabama needed some good fortune. Outside the South, Southern football was considered second rate at best, and the Rose Bowl committee wanted a traditional Eastern power. Had Dartmouth, Colgate, and Yale not declined the Rose Bowl invitation, Alabama might never have made history. Alabama's first Rose Bowl was not a football game. It was a cultural phenomenon. It might be hard to picture Auburn, Tennessee, and LSU fans pulling for Alabama, but the whole South placed its hopes on the boys from Tuscaloosa. West Coast sports writer said the Crimson Tide didn't have a prayer. After trailing 12-0 at the half, the Tide exploded for 23rd quarter points. Pooley Hubert carried the ball five consecutive times and punched in the first touchdown. Johnny Mack Brown hauled in a 63-yard pass for another score soon after to give Bama the lead, 14-12. Then Washington fumbled and Hubert hit Brown for another touchdown and a 20-12 lead with a missed extra point. Washington surged back for a touchdown to cut the margin to one point, but at a crucial point, Brown single-handedly smacked George Wildcat Wilson to the ground, turning the ball over on downs and preserving the shocking upset. 